me just come over here. Ah, the light. That's some inventory management. Okay, I'm gonna take this and move it over there. I'm gonna take one of this and move it over here. First time I've had six battery packs. That's unheard of. Big save. Here we go. Okay, let's grab this. There it is. We got the fuse. A fuse. Could yes. come in handy. Could come in handy. Hearing weird noises. Someone was laughing. Uh, but I don't see anywhere. Come on. I don't see anywhere to put the fuses right now. I'm a bit scared. Not gonna lie. I guess the projector is the only thing that's left. Okay, here we go, people. Here we go. Stop it! Is this something they watch on movie night? Yeah. That looks just like Casey. What the hell is going on? Your turn, yo. Uh, I don't know what that means. The writer's room. Cultists, yo ton yo. Okay. Coming back here. Check the nursing home museum for the record. Okay, we got the spare fuses. But yeah, apparently we need to get the yeah, we need to get the record. I don't know why I was just messing around here, but I got the fuse, which I believe we're probably going to need right now. So there is no shame in having the fuse. Also, all of these materials and this dead guy, not good. Whew, okay. Okay, where's Rose? Hey Rose, I was in the basement. It was kind of the bull crap, if you ask me. A little bit of the bull crap. Rose, no? Anything else I can do to help the hero? Yeah, you could tell me what the hell. There's a dead guy in the basement, you know? Okay, let's see. Okay, they got the st cold stashes over there. Uh, manor. Bolt cutters. And yeah, we don't have the bolt cutters. I need something to cut this. Yeah, bolt cutters, but we don't have the bolt cutters. 
Okay, how do we enter the house? Oh, right here. There's someone tipped over a chair there. Okay, this light, very bright. Nice. Do we have the, like the new cases seen on the radio? I mean, on the television. Let me see. Got a lot of manuscript pages. Mm, Adventure tours, Costellas ad. No. Radio. No. We got all the gods of Asgard, Herald of Dark. Which is pretty awesome. Got the profiles on all of these people. Oh, we got some information over here. The story. Uh, it says for later. Okay, nothing. Okay, where are the locked rooms? Conversation, new choices over here? What? Why is there a conversation over there? What? Hello? Someone was running away. Okay, there we go. Hey, Saga. Welcome to the emergency muster point. Awesome. Stay on the porch. Also, wear some clothes, bro. You're half naked all over the place. And this lady's still meeting. You all should stay out here a while. Until it's safe. Yeah, it's a good place. I'm happy to get out of that house. Isn't it strange that I've lived in Bright Falls my whole life and I can't remember this building? The house has always been here, Norman. Remember when that poor Nora girl drowned in the bunker? Those Andersons got it so cheap because it's haunted. Oh. You get what you pay for. Yeah, you get the ghosts. Any other residents Is missing? Is there anyone who didn't show up? A few. Artie, Gail, Cynthia. If oh. they aren't here by now, then they aren't coming. It's important to be punctual. It is. On that topic, I'd like to point out that our nightly decaf coffee service is almost half an hour behind schedule. Yes, but we have like a, you know, like an emergency, so you need to be here. You know, I've heard your radio show. Hello there. Are you Pat Main from the radio? That's me. And you're the federal agent everyone's been talking about. Yes. Would you have time for an interview at some point? Oh, of course. sorry. I'm kind of in a hurry right now. Love your show, though. Very informative. It's awesome. Thank you. Never compromise on quality. That's my motto. We'd be happy to have you on the show any time me and my listeners thank you pet thank you uh are you injured mandy may mandy may are you all right you're bleeding oh how did that happen oh no mandy may oh, oh no oh don't be a crybaby norman it's nothing i just poked my finger knitting this monster of a blanket yeah, I think you killed someone because you got a lot of blood on your hands, lady there. Have any of you noticed anything odd about Ms. Weaver? Just that Tor won't leave the poor woman alone. That brute wants one thing and one thing only. Cynthia's gotten downright bossy. Take a swim in the pond, Norman. Drink some water, Norman. 
Well, no one tells Norman MacDonald what to do. Put some clothes on. Okay. She's a little bit dressed like Attie. Why are we that out lady here again? Attie said we'd be safe on the porch. Safe from what? I bet Tor is having one of his drunken fits again. No, that's like darkness, you know? But you're you're good here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, work it. Work it. Keep working it. Come on. And you, bro, you just get some clothes, you know? It sure it's is a beautiful night, huh, May? Nice and uh, stormy. Don't yeah. go getting any ideas, Norman. This is the designated muster point, not a date. Yeah, the designated muster point. Okay, good. So we don't have anything else here. We need to go to the second floor and there is one locked uh, door. And then if we go to the third floor, there's a lot of things. And Ati wants to talk. Uh, this is the old uh, Gods of Asgard Museum. So I'm guessing we're going to go to the third floor first. Check this. Talk to Ati. And then we're going to go to the second floor. Okay, see you later. And like this was um this was a uh, an interest point for some reason. There was an interest point in the back. There. Yeah, we already saw all of this. Okay. Let's go up. Oh, there's another light here yeah you see get the light okay i'm going up odin what is this odin's stuck in bed odin anderson stirred in his bed his vision hazy smudged he felt weighted down by an ocean of dark water. Through the haze, he made out Saga. Odin felt useless. He wished he could tell Saga how his silly faces made her smile when she was young. Too young to remember. Odin used to joke that Tor was her grandfather, but he was the Allfather. He smiled at the memory. Odin was the kinder of the Anderson brothers. Tor lacked patience, more volatile. The brothers fought a lot. But they were inseparable. Now Tor was missing, dragged into darkness. Odin could feel it. Time was running out for both of them. Don't worry, don't worry. I'm on the case. No. I'm coming, I'm coming. Okay, here I am. Odin. Uh Okay, I don't know. Hey, bro. Can we talk to this guy over here? Profiling? Odin? No. Okay. Nothing else here. Let's just go quickly to the third floor and then we're gonna go to check the things on the second one. Very creepy. I keep thinking these things are heads. Okay, first of all, Jesus Christ. Key fob's no good without power. Okay. No use crying in the dark place. Hey, Ati. What has been has called. But trouble doesn't look like this. You can go to the basement and check the generator. But look out. You can never know in which street the devil sits. The basement. Thanks. Oh, I was already in the basement. I, I even got the... I even got the fuse. Can I loot your 
please. Yeah. Heard of the cult of the tree? Do you know anything about the cult of the tree? Yes, yes. He who reaches for a spruce tree will stumble into a juniper. Bloom was one of them. He has kicked empty. <laughs> I wouldn't want to be in his shoes. But I like his shoes. Yeah, they're good shoes. How did you know Blum was part of the cult? Oh, Fox never runs out of tricks. He's a crazy man, and he will show his ways. <laughs> Bloom like to talk. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You're some sort of all-powerful interdimensional entity, Ati. You should help me. Also, I guess you're... You have the ability to be in several places. You can be here and you can be back at the Federal Bureau of Control or whatever. Yeah, we don't have the power over here. We need to go there to the boiling room, storage, laundry room, workspace. I don't know. I was already there. I looted. I did the things. I guess we need to talk to Addy first. What? Okay. Okay, that thing is locked now. Okay, everybody cool here? Yeah, you're good. Okay, something is... Something is messing with me right now. Oh, crap. Ow! That hurt a little bit. Okay, come on, bro. Uh, Speedy Gonzalez. Okay, where are you? Too many places to hide. Yeah. Jesus. Are you done? Okay, shot you in the nethers. Fucking You're down. Monsters. Yeah. Okay, reload. Reload everything. Good. Do we apply bandage? You know what? Screw it. I'm gonna apply bandage. I know it was not necessary, but I apply bandage. Also, we gotta be careful. Now I'm back here. Okay, definitely more activity Shit. this time. I need to get the power back on. Yes. Like I said, I was already back here. Okay, is this the thing? Do we do it here? Use. There. Power's back on. Oof. 
Okay. Save it. Of course. Shit. Careful, Saga. Anybody? You're dead, bro. You're dead. Okay, I have a feeling we're gonna have like a boss battle or something. No? Rose is gone. Uh oh. We gotta possess Cynthia. Cynthia? Cynthia? Everybody good here? Good. Don't don't enter the house. There'll be monsters. Okay, if you want to just show yourself, I will be more than happy to oblige. Hold in. You dead, bro? Oh, you're still good. I know. Ati. Help, bro. Okay, so we got this one, that one, or that one. We're gonna try this one, then Gale, then Cynthia's. Okay, come on. I have the special thing. We got a page over there. Let's see. Building the Valhalla nursing home. Wheeler set up a foundation with the sales of their greatest hits album. He used the cash to build a nursing facility. The old men deserved it. An old manor in Bright Falls. Wheeler hired a contractor to have it refitted as an old folks care home. At this point, Wheeler felt good about himself. Yeah. He had a heart of gold. No need to feel guilty. Wheeler left the work to the contractor and returned to New York City. He had done his part. It was time to turn over a new leaf. The contractors figured out Wheeler was gone for good. They took the money and ran. When the fall rains came, the leaks started appearing. Oh crap. Well, that sucks. That's why the basement is just... And crackers. Delicious. That's why the basement is uh, flooded. Oh, look at this. She has like a microwave and a coffee thing. Very, very nice. Nothing there. Okay. Okay, Cynthia's room. Here we go, people. Here there be monsters. Like that. Okay. A down? 
Was but Cynthia damn. into civil engineering? Well, I don't know. But damn. Another page. Cynthia would deal with the nasty Anderson fellow, Tor, always poking people with his hammer. He had it coming. Cynthia and Thumb. Oh, come on, the page. Okay. So, manuscript pages. Cynthia and Thumb. Cynthia Weaver smiled. Lost without her lantern? Nonsense. Cynthia felt as giddy as a young girl in love. Cynthia had loved Thomas Zane. Tom only had eyes for Barbara. Barbara was bad news. Tom had seen it in the end. Cynthia had been there to comfort him. And when he left, Cynthia waited. Years of waiting. Now Tom had come back to her. They'd be together now. See the world. See the world. She'd always dreamed of seeing New York. Yeah, New York. They were there now in a fancy hotel. Fancy. She drew a bath. She would become like Barbara. No, better. She sank into dark water, into Tom. Tom had enemies plotting against him. Cynthia would deal with the nasty Anderson fellow, Tor, always poking people with his hammer. He had it coming. Anything for Tom. Hmm. Let's go to the case board. I believe we have some information now. The Anderson brothers. Todd had enemies plotting against him. So the record? Cynthia and Thor? There you go. Since he's doing all this for Tom. Another one of the Dark Presence masks? Maybe. Cynthia took him. Ugh, I knew someone was messing with Tor's head. There's something wrong with the water here. Pipes acting up. Black stuff coming out. Cynthia's probably behind that, too. Oh, we can actually listen to the conversations. Look at this. <clears throat> like, maybe Odin can tell me what happened Odin to Odin is sleeping upstairs. Yeah, I never knew this. Acting crazy. Interesting. Well, been playing this for like, I don't know how many hours, like 18, I'm guessing, by now. Never knew that. Okay, what do we collect? Tom lamp is gone. The lamp with the angel on it. He always loved that lamp. It disappeared from my room. The darkness is here. After all these years. It took Tom's lamp. I know it did. The lights are going out more and more. There's no one left to stop it. I can't do it on my own. Not anymore. Nothing left of Tom now. I don't know what I'm going to do. I need Tom's lamp back. I need Tom back. Weird. Shadows are moving. There is no more light. No more lamps. Can't find my way out of the room. Someone locked the door. Did I lock it? Maybe Tom did. He probably did to keep me safe. He's such a considerate man. Barbara doesn't deserve him. Tom could uh, do so much better. But did Tom's lamp go? I used to have it. I guess he took it back. That's fine. It was his after all. The shadows are moving? Did I write that? Nonsense. There are no shadows. It's just us. Tom and I forever. I found something funny while I was down there. A newspaper article about Tom. But he called him a filmmaker. Tom didn't make movies, he was a poet. A magnificent poet. I dug around and found film equipment supposedly also Tom's. What is happening? This isn't right. I know it isn't. The Dark Presence uses people's memories. Their fears to corrupt them. Yeah, that's why things change. On the dark roads of Montana There's a shadow in the dirt The whisper of a mountaineer In a ragged flannel shirt He walks the stony hillsides With his mandolin in hand but you'll never see his face around this long forgotten land 